Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to day 17 of Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, and because it is the 17th, it is also one of my days for a Spiegel Mom Scraps project. So, today's sketch, gorgeous sketch, is up here in the corner, and it's by Shala Gail Knowles. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And Shala is bookish Shala over on Instagram. And make sure you pop on over there to follow her. I will have those details down below as well as the full playlist, of course, for 30 Days of Sketches. So, I am using my collection Obsession which this month is another 49 in market. You know, I love my 49 in market. And this one is uh, Tranquility. And it's one that I got earlier in the year. So I suppose in a way it would uh, fit uh, with our theme over in How to Kill a Kit with Style, which is new. But as you see, as you know, I went a little bit of a different direction with that. Now, I also been scrapping 30 days of sketches a little bit out of order and I picked up some sketches here and there that sort of just spoke to me in that moment. So this paper kit that I put together uh, when I showed you my collection of session we put together some paper kits and one of those paper kits just had two pieces of paper in it and the in the end I've used them separately, and you're going to see the other layout on day 20. But this is a lovely, lovely background, but that is from the packaging, which I absolutely love, that no-waste packaging. That is awesome. And all my friends, look at that. I did not remove, I didn't realize that there was actually a border strip on this. So my 12 by 12 is 12 by 12 and a half, isn't it? Mm, yeah, and I don't think I'll be taking half an inch off the top because that's going to make that a little too much. Oh, well, there you go. I'm not sure yet whether this one is going to go in Julia's album or in Erica's, but this is from Julia's 19th birthday. Uh, and their party or they're going out to dinner and then having some fun afterwards. So it may, it, well, I, I, I have these photos printed again. So if this one goes into Julia's album, the other one will go into Erica's. The colors are maybe a little bit more up Erica's album. So we'll see. So we will see that this is very monochromatic. It's into sort of those aquas and teals. And in the end, I love, love, love this layout. So I use that one pattern paper. And then I had a little bit of paper left over. And this is from uh, one of my Mercy Tiara kits. I'm not sure if it's the outdoorsy kit. I think it's from the outdoorsy kit. It's not the new Maybe it is Take Me Home. I'm not sure. Anyway, it, it no, it's definitely it's definitely from the outdoorsy kit. And it had this gorgeous, gorgeous uh teal aqua floral paper on the other side of this stripe. So I used the sketch perhaps a little bit more as inspiration this time and I didn't stick literally to it but I absolutely first thing I love there's two photos on there and the photos are overlapping and askew and you know that I absolutely love that pretty much all of my photos overlap and they're always a little bit askew and if I have just the one photo it is generally a little bit askew as well I don't do a lot of straight symmetrical photos once in a while so definitely wanted that then there are three lovely clusters sort of where the photos join mine is a little bit higher but still there down um over on the left hand side and then 
over on the bottom right side. So this, so I really did take inspiration from the placement of those three clusters, although my clusters are maybe a little bit bigger and take up a little bit more real estate, but I think you can still see the influence there. Um, you can see that there is some outlining and distressing. So I wanted to keep a little bit the idea of the distressing, but in a little bit of a different way. So what I did is I had this scrap and it was already torn. So I decided to tear a little bit of my background paper and then use the torn side from the floral paper and therefore have a little bit of raggedy edges here on my layout and I quite quite like that. So I took some Tranquil Tide from Stampin' Up and I uh, inked the torn edges in both places and I love that. Now I'm wondering whether I'm going to want to maybe ink all the way around. You know what? I think I might. I think that might be nice. Anyway, let me finish telling you what I did here. This is a share today as opposed to a process. So I did that. I got my photos. I did map my photos in the floral paper and um, some of this Tranquil Tide cardstock from Stampin' Up. Love, love, love that got my photos down. That is when I decided that I really wanted to stay in the monochromatic mode. So I went into my Nicole Jones. So I have my tray. Um, I've changed my tray, by the way, my regular tray, uh, my friends now that I always have on my desk is the larger one. So I have two compartments for my Bramble Fox, title pieces and smaller ones of three, actually. This large one from my Nicole Jones 911 um, digi prints flare up here in this corner. And I do have another bowl with um, a lot of my Hey Little Magpie flare and then my sequins sort of for the month. And in theory, I'll be playing with that, filling this up and reorganizing it every month. So I went into. Um, my digi prints and in the I don't remember the name of it I should find it and I'll put it down below for you because Nicole released I think was it spring flowers so it's a set where there are all sorts of different colors and different types of florals and these two florals are from that set as well as this one this is flowers number I don't remember the name it's perhaps a little bit more turquoise than the sort of minty and aqua that's here but I, I think right there it still fits I got my punches out to Stampin' Up punches and I punched what I had left over of this lovely floral paper in the two sizes and then inked all of the edges. <coughs> oh, excuse me, my friends. So that gave me quite a few lovely florals. Then I went into my packaging. You've seen me do this before. And I fussy cut the tickets from uh, the packaging. Then I got a chipboard piece out. Uh, one of the sort of chipboard flare, I guess they, they would be. And this lovely leafy bit. And this, you've seen me try and use this frame so, so much this month, my friend. So I got half of it on here, finally. So I, I sort of started building my clusters with the florals. I popped this ticket to begin with this floral. And then popped in the flare and then decided I really wanted all of this together to sort of frame the photo. And these lovely, lovely smiling faces. Are they not beautiful? So there we go. 
pop the frame underneath here and another floral. And depending on how these sit, some of these have, of course, some foam uh, behind them. So this is this area is popped up on foam. This is flat to the photo. So I got that there. Then I wanted to get my title down. And I think the way I put the photos was a perfect way for the title. Now, uh, Shala has her title down here, but I sort of wanted it to be a little bit more around the photos. And that now makes the layout a little less monochromatic because I brought some gold in. But that to me is almost like a neutral. So bells of the ball. So I used my Fitzgerald in gold. And I think these are still available. So I'm going to get some more of these. I, You know how I love that font, my friends. And then for the smaller uh, letters... I got these from Pink Fresh Studio, Simple and Sweet, uh, Little Gold. Now, it's a little bit of a brassier or brighter gold, but I think it, it's, it's fine because my original intent was definitely to put bells here that fit in that little nook and cranny perfectly. And then I was thinking of the ball here, but I really left... A lot of space so I, I couldn't make it work and in the end I like this a lot better this way so bells of the ball and that then gave me room here for another little cluster and what I've done here is I've used the florals and then I used the smaller one which I popped up on foam to put on top of this floral um, I used one of the Nicole Jones 911 on top of this one, and then I just tucked in uh, this flower, and of course my floral on the back here is popped up on foam. And because I've inked them all, I like the sort of contrast a little bit that it gives everywhere. And then, my friends, I decided I needed tons and tons of sequins, and a little bit of gold splattering because once I went, I had the title down, I felt that I needed to bring gold in a little bit more, but I didn't really want to bring it in um, with the sequins or enamel dots or anything like that. So I thought I would just do a little splattering and I have the teensiest bit of Heidi Swap uh, color shine in gold left. There's probably like, oh, not even, not even an eighth of an inch down at the bottom. But I can still get a little bit out of it. But I also love to use my Shimmer's Glorious Days. I don't like the nozzle as much. Um, but I do love the color and I do use that quite a bit as well. So I went into my older stash, not crazy, crazy old, but this patina finish. And I think I got, I, I definitely got... Uh, a package of these with my DT packages for sure, but I think I bought maybe one or two more. I absolutely love this color, and I love that there are several sizes and different shapes as well in this package. So I went a little bit crazy. Now, the first thing I thought that was fun is I went into the middle of my florals with the large sequins in the patina finish and I love 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 that effect and then I just sort of filled in all the way around to give a sort of loose and airy frame or outline of these gorgeous sequins and I love 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 that effect now as you know in my in the albums that I make for Adela uh, Julia Erica, Chloe, or when I don't do any of the journaling, so I don't journal on these, but definitely I could put probably a couple of journaling lines here so that they could write anything they might want to put down. Now, I haven't recorded here that it's Julia's 19th birthday because I do have a photo, gorgeous photo of just her, um, and that will either be a companion to this one, and that will have 19 on it. 
So there you go, my friends. Thank you, Shala, for the lovely, lovely inspiration. Thank you, my friends, for being here. My affiliate link to pop on over to Spiegel Mom Scraps if you want any lovely sequins is down below. And that helps this channel out a little bit. In you'll see, you'll see because um, mm, well, not I think you already have seen. Actually, yes, you have. You saw my forty nine in market, my little birthday haul, and that was um, a little bit of a treat uh, from the proceeds uh, over the last couple of years from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So that little haul is thank you to all of you my friends so there you go that's me done for today 30 days of sketches series 13 day 17 the playlist facebook group as always is down below hashtag 30 ds cbl 17 a lovely spiegel mom scraps dt project and the affiliate link um, for that is down below. And of course, don't ever forget to use my code Moira15152 to get a lovely discount on your order. And I will see you back here very, very soon, my friends. Bye for now.